the Labor Room Reality TV Show. I believe that Nigeria is, is, a, is a nation where, where each and everyone has the capacity to prosper. It's in our nature to do so. What leaders should do is to serve the people and empower them. So I want you, your excellencies to remember this. Power does not belong to the title. Power does not belong to the title. Authority is the, listen to this, the transient lending of power to you so that you can empower the people you are called to serve. I need you to remember that this is what I said to you. What authority bestows upon you is power. But when that power finds only one person, you become powerful. And I use that word very careful to say power, F-O-O-L. Every time a leader opens his mouth or her mouth, she should not speak about the current matters alone. Must be able to say, there is coming a time. And that time must create that audacity in the heart of the leader. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I believe that you guys are not just the, the evidence of hope. You are the epitome of hope. Yes. For Nigeria has been ruled for more than 50 years and we have never ever fulfilled our potential. But whilst we do not have the capacity to rule, we are raising a generation. And it is here that have the capacity to lead. And those leaders are the dealers in service. <laughs> Nigeria should not even have enough Nigerians to build a new Nigeria. Because if we were to try to build a new Nigeria, we would use every skill that we have and still not have enough. Because we are a blessed nation. We are more than a nation that produces raw materials for the rest of the world. We can be that nation that produces finished goods. Not just for our own consumption, but for the rest of the world. Any generation that grew up with constant power and passes over generators to the next generation is a wasted generation. A wasted generation is any generation that knocks out health from its hospitals, knocks out education from its schools, knocks out power from its uh, lights from its bulbs, and dries up water from its taps. Every generation that takes away safety from its roads and turns road safety into a commission rather than an experience. Every generation that knocks out values from its children and value from its currency is a wasted generation. You know, your values are the operating system of your heart. Your values are the things that define what is right and what is wrong. To you, your values are the things that tell you what is good and what is bad. The things that are acceptable and, non, and unacceptable. Your values are the things that, that, that drive whatever the situation is, help you to decode it into a decision. So it doesn't matter the situation. What matters the most is the values that you hold in those situations. What do rulers do? Rulers subdue their subjects, empower themselves, so that they suppress their people, they oppress them, and they depress them. They emasculate them. They impoverish them to remain in power. What do leaders do? Leaders serve. They do not emasculate, they empower. They emancipate. They do not impoverish, they improve. I don't think anybody doubts the fact that Nigeria is one of the most blessed people and if anybody doubted that all they needed to do was just tune in into the labor room and once they listen to you guys every doubt in their heart as to how blessed Nigeria is will fly but the fact still is that I believe that the future of Nigeria is everything that we as a people can be but have not yet become I believe that the future of Nigeria is everything we can do together but have not yet done. I believe that everything that we have as the future of Nigeria is what we can possess, but we just haven't yet taken hold of it. So you notice therefore that if you think about the future from this perspective, the future is not ahead of us. The future is inside of us. So Napoleon Bonaparte said, a leader is a dealer in tummy. Hope 
what else a dealer in service a dealer in humanity uh, no it can't be because it's only one word a, a dealer in humanity a dealer in service a lead dealer in wisdom a dealer in service anything uh, no you can't it has to be one thing okay hope anything else service a dealer in solutions and you know that in a way you are all right isn't it because all of the things you said leaders should deal in leaders should be dealers in service in fact leadership is service question is when you think about leadership what comes to your mind is it a title is it power is it authority and we're going to be you know talking a bit about leadership because i believe that if there were two things we need to fix in nigeria over the next few years that will bring nigeria into a state of accelerated development it will be the ability to to infuse in nigeria the spirit of leadership so that people understand what you call the dignity of service and then they must understand the beauty of excellence i say to people you have to deliver the future and where better can you deliver the future other than the labor room so in being here today i need you to understand that and i wish each and every one of you the greatest success on this journey on this pathway but i believe that the reason why you are here today is because you are here to midwife the delivery of the future of a new nation we are talking about a new nation that looks nothing like the one that we currently live in today we're talking about a nation where people love to live a nation where people love to work a nation where people would love to visit and even play a nation that naturally attracts the investment of not just those who come from foreign lands but those who are in foreign lands that are nationalities so diaspora must want to invest in nigeria but that is going to happen when the people of nigeria begin to believe in nigeria again and begin to take a chance on nigeria 37 intelligent Nigerian youths will lead over 200 million viewers into the labor room. For 60 days in one mansion, they must pay the price to deliver to the world a brand new super nation, the Labor Room Reality TV Show.